Dr. Jason Saunders, HBOT USA. We're making this video today to share really exciting news that there are some uh, clinical trials that are actually going to start this month uh, for hyperbaric oxygen and COVID-19. So, you know, we're very excited that all of this talk about oxygen and people sharing this information, and there's lots of other great content out there that we've been watching and sharing also, that these different oxygen therapies could be playing such a critical role um, for these patients. So, and because of that, uh, we're actually going to put a little offer in at the end of this video. So please stay until the end so you could hear that offer and, um, and stay tuned. So as of right now, uh, there are at least three clinical trials that are in the works. Uh, one is in New York. And so in that clinical trial, they're going to have uh, 40 patients. They're starting to take uh, applications for patients right now. Okay. So it's at uh, New York Winthrop Hospital. Uh, they're basically only going to start with a series of five sessions at two atmospheres. I think it's either 60 or 90 minutes per session. And they're going to take some moderate to severe respiratory distress patients and put them into hyperbaric um, uh, chambers to see uh, what sort of response uh, these patients are getting. And I'm sure that it's going to be favorable. So again, that's going to be 40 patients. It's in New York City at Winthrop Hospital. Uh, and you could literally, and we'll put the link for this study below. So if you or somebody you know wants to get involved in that study, uh, the contact information will be there. So um, another study that is, it's been posted, but they're not they're not taking uh, patients yet, but this one's going to be very interesting. Uh, so they posted it at on March 31st. It's actually going to be at uh, University of California, San Diego. Uh, they're going to take 200 participants. So it's a bigger study. And they're going to be looking at, uh, which I'm really excited about, they're going to be looking at not only uh, oxygen function tests, but they're also going to be looking at cytokine storm. And they're going to be looking at um, viral load. And so they're going to be monitoring patient progress in terms of oxygenation and, and uh, functional pulmonary tests. And they're going to be doing blood work on the cytokine storm and other inflammatory markers that are typically elevated with COVID-19 to see the differences. Um, and like I said, they're going to be measuring macrophage and neutrophil counts and uh, viral loads to see the effect because we know that hyperbaric oxygen has such a great effect, not only to oxygenate the tissue that we've talked about in many of these videos, but also to reduce that cytokine storm, to balance that cytokine storm and to improve the body's ability to fight infection. And so this study at the University of California, San Diego, they're looking to actually study for 200 patients, um, that whole realm of, um, you know, measurement for, for patients with COVID-19. Again, they're not, uh, they're not taking patients yet, but it's an open, uh, it's going to be an open, uh, clinical trial and it's going to be at multiple centers. It's not only going to be, uh, at university of California, they're, they're actually going to help bring in other centers to, to do this study. So, uh, again, we will post that link also so that you have that. So you can see, uh, the ongoing information. And if you're near one of the centers that's going to participate, uh, you or you or a loved one could hop in and, and take advantage of that. Uh, the last one is uh, that it looks like they're going to be doing one in Louisiana too. It has not been approved yet. They're in the approval process. Um, but if they do that, it's going to be in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, they're also going to start with a small section of patients. It doesn't say yet, but I think it's going to be between 40 and 60 patients. Um, it's also going to be 30 minute sessions. So shorter sessions. So five to 10 30 minute sessions. It didn't say the uh, pressure, but I'm assuming it's probably going to be around two atmospheres. Um, in fact, actually in Louisiana, uh, Opalescence General Hospital has already treated 19 patients with COVID-19 in their hyperbaric facility uh, with a great outcome. So I think that's, you know, some of these uh, hospitals that have the ability to do so are taking it upon themselves to start seeing if they could delay ventilation or avoid ventilation completely. And so far in these small um, outpockets that are reporting it, we are seeing positive results using hyperbaric oxygen for these patients, which is really exciting news. So the New Orleans one uh, will be done through uh, Dr. Harch. He's the one applying for approval. And so uh, hopefully we get that approval very soon. I've also been told that there's going to be another New York 
uh, facility doing a, a uh, lower pressure, so somewhere between like 1.3 and 1.5, so a lower pressure study on patients as well, but that one has not been submitted yet. Long story short, there are a lot of people talking about oxygen and the effect that oxygen has on this disease because this disease is not the typical pulmonary obstruction disease. It's not presenting as a typical pneumonia. There is a deoxygenation issue and getting these patients oxygen is critical, especially in the mid to late phases of the illness. And so I'm very excited to see that, you know, people are, are talking about it and now studies are coming out so that we can actually see the effect. Um, and they're not only looking at oxygenation, but they are going to start looking at all these other factors like fighting infection and lowering the cytokine. So it's, it's a really critical time. Um, I'll obviously keep everybody posted on those things as well. Now, thank you for staying with us. Just so you know, so many people talking about oxygen, it's been very exciting. Uh, we want to reward folks for helping to spread the news. And so uh, for you to help us spread the news and for us to help you learn more, uh, the first 10 people who subscribe to the channel and then share this video and other videos uh, with your loved ones, with your friends, we will send you a copy of, of uh, my book, Oxygen Under Pressure. No charge. We'll just send it to you. So all we need in this below this video in a comment is, hey, hey, I subscribed and I shared and here's my address and we will send you a copy of our book. OK, thanks so much. Thanks for spreading the word um, and we'll talk to you soon.